Imagine this, a company you're analyzing is making sales, but at the end of the day, the profits just aren't adding up. What if I told you there's a simple metric that could reveal exactly why that's happening and how you can assess its potential for future growth? That metric is gross margin, and understanding it can transform the way you evaluate a company's financial health. As an investor, gross margin tells you more than just how much money a company is making after covering the cost of its products. It offers insight into its efficiency, pricing power, and overall profitability. Today, we'll take a look at the importance of gross margin analysis and explain how you can use it to make smarter investment decisions. We'll also explore how gross margin interacts with other key financial metrics like net margin and how to analyze this over time to form a clearer view of a company's future performance. By the end of this video, you'll know how to spot companies with strong margins, those struggling with costs, and which areas to focus on to make more informed investment choices. What is gross margin? Let's start with the basics. Gross margin is is the percentage of total sales revenue that a company retains after deducting the cost of goods sold (COGS). It's essentially the portion of revenue left over after covering the direct costs associated with producing the goods or services that the company sells. Gross margin is calculated by taking the company's total revenue, subtracting COGS, and dividing the result by the total revenue. The final number when multiplied by 100 gives you the gross margin percentage. For example, if a company generates $100,000 in revenue and its COGS is $60,000, then the gross margin is $40,000, or 40%. This means that for every dollar of sales, the company retains 40 cents in gross profit before accounting for additional expenses like operating costs, salaries, and taxes. From an investor's standpoint, this figure is critical. A high gross margin typically indicates that a company is efficiently managing its direct costs and can keep a large portion of its sales revenue. Companies with strong gross margins are often in a better position to reinvest in growth, distribute dividends, or even withstand downturns in the market. Conversely, a low gross margin may be a red flag, signaling potential inefficiencies in cost control or a weak pricing strategy. Why gross margin matters to investors. Now, why should you, as an investor, care about gross margin? It's simple. Gross margin tells you a lot about a company's operational efficiency and competitive strength. A higher gross margin generally indicates that the company has better control over its production costs and is potentially able to charge premium prices for its goods or services. This, in turn, suggests that the company has strong pricing power in its market, an essential factor for maintaining long-term profitability. Gross margin also acts as an indicator of a company's ability to withstand pressure in challenging market conditions. For instance, during economic downturns or supply chain disruptions, companies with high gross margins tend to be more resilient as they have more room to absorb rising costs without severely impacting profitability. If you're analyzing a company for long-term investment potential, its ability to maintain strong margins over time should be a key consideration. Moreover, gross margin serves as a great comparison tool within industries. It allows you to gauge how well a company is performing relative to its peers. If a company's gross margin is significantly lower than that of its competitors, you might want to dig deeper into why that's happening. It could be that the company is struggling with higher production costs, lacks pricing power, or faces other structural challenges. Evaluating gross margin over time. One important point to remember as an investor, never look at gross margin in isolation or as a one-time standalone number. Gross margin, like all financial metrics, should be evaluated over time to get a better sense of a company's financial trajectory. Typically, you want to analyze a company's gross margin over the past three to five years to identify any trends, whether the margin is improving, staying stable, or declining. If a company's gross margin has been steadily improving, it could be a sign that it's becoming more efficient, reducing production costs, or gaining pricing power. This is a positive signal for investors. On the other hand, a declining gross margin over time might indicate rising production costs or competitive pressures forcing the company to lower its prices, both of which could erode future profitability. By analyzing gross margin trends over several years, you can also make better predictions about the company's future outlook. For example, if a company has successfully expanded its gross margin through cost-cutting measures or by introducing higher margin products, this could indicate strong future performance. Alternatively, if a company's margins are shrinking despite increased sales, it could be an early warning sign that its profitability may come under pressure.
gross margin versus net margin, what investors should know. It's also essential to consider gross margin in conjunction with other financial metrics, especially net margin. While gross margin gives you insight into how well a company is managing its production costs, net margin provides a more comprehensive view of its overall profitability. Net margin accounts for all expenses, including operating costs, taxes, interest, and other non-operational expenses, and shows how much of each dollar in sales a company actually keeps as profit. As an investor, it's crucial to compare both gross and net margins to get a complete picture of the company's financial health. A company with a high gross margin but a low net margin might be facing high administrative or marketing costs, which are eating into its profitability. On the flip side, a company with both high gross and net margins is likely managing both its production costs and operational expenses efficiently, a great sign for long-term investors. Factors influencing gross margin. Several factors can affect a company's gross margin, and understanding these can help you make more informed investment decisions. Some of the most critical factors include cost of goods sold, COGS. A company's ability to control its direct production costs is a key driver of gross margin. As an investor, look for companies that are effectively managing their supply chains, negotiating better deals with suppliers, or using technology to improve production efficiency. A company that can consistently reduce its COGS while maintaining maintaining product quality is likely to have strong, stable margins. Pricing Strategy how a company prices its products or services directly impacts its gross margin. Companies with strong brands or unique offerings often have more flexibility to raise prices without losing customers, which can lead to higher margins. As an investor, look for companies with the ability to command premium pricing due to brand strength, market positioning, or innovation. Sales volume. In some cases, selling a higher volume of products at a lower gross margin can still lead to profitability. For example, large retailers often operate on slim margins but make up for it through high sales volumes. However, this approach requires careful cost control and efficient operations to avoid eroding profits. How seasonality impacts gross margin. One often overlooked factor in gross margin analysis is seasonality. Many businesses experience fluctuations in their costs and revenues depending on the time of year. For instance, a retail company might see higher revenues during the holiday season, but their cost of goods sold could also increase due to higher demand for inventory, temporary staff, or shipping fees. On the other hand, a company in the tourism industry might see a spike in revenues during the summer months, but struggle during the off-season. Understanding how seasonality impacts a company's gross margin can be crucial for investment analysis. Let's say you're considering investing in a seasonal business like a landscaping company. The margins may look great during the spring and summer when demand is high, but in the winter, those margins could shrink dramatically as fewer projects are taken on, while fixed overhead costs like rent or equipment maintenance remain. In this case, analyzing gross margin by season can help you better prepare for the slower months by assessing the company's ability to maintain profitability year-round through cash reserves or alternative revenue streams. Additionally, you can use seasonality trends in gross margin to make decisions on pricing and inventory management. For example, if a company experiences increased costs during a certain time of year, you can evaluate whether it adjusts prices accordingly or optimizes inventory levels before costs rise. By paying attention to seasonality, you ensure your gross margin analysis provides a more holistic view of the company's financial health over the entire year, rather than just a snapshot at a single point in time. Technology and gross margin improvement. In today's digital age, technology plays a significant role in optimizing business operations, and gross margin is no exception. Companies that leverage technology effectively can drastically improve their gross margin by automating processes, reducing human error, and lowering production costs. For example, manufacturing businesses can implement automation in production lines to speed up the process and reduce labor costs. Similarly, e-commerce businesses can use AI-driven inventory management systems to better predict demand and avoid stock shortages or overstock situations, which can negatively impact gross margin. Cloud-based accounting and financial software can also give companies more accurate and real-time insight into their costs of goods sold COGS, enabling them to make smarter decisions about pricing and cost management. By closely monitoring gross margin trends through technology, companies can quickly identify inefficiencies and address them before they become major problems. Take Amazon, for instance. The company uses sophisticated algorithms to manage 
manage its vast inventory, ensuring products are available when customers want them while keeping inventory levels as low as possible. This kind of precision helps Amazon maintain healthy gross margins despite operating in a highly competitive market with relatively low margins. As an investor, identifying companies that are investing in technology to streamline their operations can be a key indicator of their potential to improve and sustain gross margins. These technological investments often translate into more efficient operations, lower costs, and stronger profitability, making such companies attractive investment opportunities. Gross margin and competitive strategy. Gross margin isn't just a measure of profitability, it can also be a key tool in crafting a company's competitive strategy. Companies with high gross margins often have more flexibility to invest in areas like marketing, research and development, or customer service. This allows them to stay ahead of competitors who might be operating with thinner margins. A business with a higher gross margin can also afford to lower its prices to capture more market share while still maintaining profitability. Think of companies like Apple or Tesla. Their higher gross margins enable them to outspend competitors on marketing or innovation, helping them maintain a premium market position. Even if competitors try to compete on price, they may struggle to match the overall value that a high margin company can offer. On the flip side, if a company's gross margin is lower than its competitors, it may signal that the company needs to focus more on cost-cutting measures or look for ways to differentiate its product so it can raise prices without losing customers. Perhaps the company can offer better customer support, a more robust product warranty, or an eco-friendly alternative that customers are willing to pay more for. Understanding how a company's gross margin compares to industry standards helps you find its competitive edge and ensures that you're investing in companies that are well positioned to maximize profitability while remaining attractive to customers. Gross margin and product mix. Investor considerations. Another important aspect of gross margin analysis is the product mix, the variety of products or services a company offers. Not all products will have the same gross margin, and understanding the margins for each individual product can help you make better investments decisions based on their product strategies. For example, if a company is running a retail store, it might find that certain high-ticket items like electronics have thinner margins but generate high sales volumes, making them profitable overall. On the other hand, accessories like phone cases or charging cables might have much higher margins but lower sales volumes. By analyzing the gross margin for each product line, you can assess whether the company is strategically promoting higher margin products or balancing its portfolio to maximize overall profitability. This product mix strategy can also help with inventory management. Companies focusing on products with the highest gross margins can reduce inventory carrying costs and free up cash flow to invest in other areas of the business. Additionally, understanding the gross margin of each product or service helps in evaluating pricing strategies. You may find that a product with a low gross margin is used as a loss leader, a product sold at or near cost to attract customers who then purchase higher margin products. As an investor, analyzing a company's product mix and its impact on gross margin provides deeper insights into the company's strategic priorities and potential for sustainable profitability. Gross margin pitfalls to avoid. Investor tips. While gross margin is a powerful metric, there are several common mistakes investors make when analyzing it. Here are some pitfalls to watch out for. Focusing solely on gross margin. It's crucial not to focus only on gross margin without considering other key financial metrics, like net margin or cash flow. Gross margin provides insights into production efficiency, but it doesn't account for other essential costs like administrative expenses, rent, or taxes. A company can have a high gross margin, but still be losing money if its other expenses are too high. Ignoring trends over time. Don't rely on a single, standalone value for gross margin. Instead, analyze gross margin trends over the past three to five years to identify whether the margin is improving, stable, or declining. Consistent improvements may indicate effective cost management or strong pricing power, while declining margins could signal rising costs or increased competition. Comparing across different industries, Avoid comparing gross margins of companies across entirely different industries. Each industry has its own cost structures and margin expectations. For instance, software companies typically have higher gross margins than manufacturing firms. Ensure that your comparisons are within the same industry to draw meaningful conclusions about a company's performance. Overlooking seasonality and one-time events. Be mindful of seasonal fluctuations or one-time events that might temporarily skew gross margin figures. For example, a surge in sales during a holiday season might inflate gross margins, while unexpected supply chain disruptions could temporarily depress them. Look for consistent patterns rather than reacting to anomalies. Neglecting the impact of accounting practices 
Different companies may use varying accounting methods for inventory and cost of goods sold, which can affect gross margin calculations. Be aware of these differences and adjust your analysis accordingly to ensure an accurate comparison. By avoiding these pitfalls, you can perform a more accurate and insightful gross margin analysis, leading to better investment decisions. Case Study how Starbucks uses gross margin to stay profitable. Let's bring everything we've discussed to life with a real-world case study. Starbucks is a global coffee powerhouse that has maintained strong gross margins for years. How does it do this? Especially in an industry where coffee beans, a significant cost, can fluctuate wildly in price. One of Starbucks' secrets is its ability to maintain high margins by offering premium products at premium prices. By positioning itself as a high-end brand, Starbucks can charge more for a cup of coffee than many of its competitors. But it's not just about price. Starbucks also focuses on creating an experience that customers are willing to pay extra for, such as cozy, well-designed stores, a variety of high-quality products, and personalized customer service. Starbucks also manages its gross margin by carefully controlling its supply chain. The company has a vertically integrated supply chain, meaning it owns or controls much of the coffee bean production process, from sourcing beans directly from farmers to overseeing roasting and distribution. This vertical integration allows Starbucks to keep its costs in check while maintaining quality, which directly impacts its gross margin. Additionally, Starbucks invests heavily in technology to streamline operations and enhance customer experience. For instance, their mobile ordering and payment systems reduce wait times and improve operational efficiency, further supporting strong gross margins. By focusing on premium pricing, controlling costs, and creating an experience that customers love, Starbucks has been able to maintain gross margins that are well above the industry average, despite fluctuations in the price of coffee beans and other inputs. For investors, Starbucks exemplifies how strategic management of gross margin can lead to sustained profitability and competitive advantage. Conclusion Gross margin analysis is a critical tool for investors seeking to understand a company's financial health, make informed investment decisions, and develop a competitive strategy. By keeping a close eye on this key metric, along with net margin and other financial indicators, you can identify companies that are excelling and those that may have opportunities for improvement. Remember, gross margin should never be viewed in isolation. Analyzing it over time, in conjunction with other metrics, and within the context of the industry and the company's overall strategy, provides a more comprehensive picture of a company's profitability and growth potential. If this video helped open your eyes to the potential for optimizing your investment strategy through gross margin analysis, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment below with your questions. We're here to help you grow your financial knowledge.